So good morning, friends. Good afternoon, brother. Hope you are all fine. Say you are, you are again over here in the particle science classes. Now I told you yesterday that I will start another topic, another chapter. That is end of bipolarity system. Means we have got two type of polarity. One is unipolarity. That is one one part. That and another one is bipolar. That is two part. Earlier, friends, it was two part system. One was U USSR, Soviet Sun, which you are calling. Another one was America. That is United States of America. Right. Now, end of bipolarity system. In 1989, you know, Berlin Wall was uh, broken. Now, what do you mean by Berlin Wall? There were two type of Germany: East Germany and West Germany. East Germany was under the Soviet Russia, and West Germany were under the Americans. Western part, Western country. American means Western country. Now, the Berlin Wall. Which had been built at the height of Cold War and was its greatest symbol was toppled by 1918 by the people 1989. Berlin Wall, बहुत बड़ी wall थी, right? And if you read, let me tell you that you will be feeling to uh, take interest that what was Berlin Wall. Berlin Wall symbolized the division of between the capitalist and the communist world, built in 1961. To separate East Berlin from West Berlin, there were two type of Berlin: East Berlin and West Berlin. East Berlin under the USSR, West Berlin under that is basically Western part. This was more than this Berlin Wall was more than 150 kilometer long. Wall stood 28 years. 28 years is wall in two German co. अलग करके रखा ईस्ट जर्मनी एंड वेस्ट जर्मनी एंड वॉज इनिशियली ब्रोकन बाय द पीपल ऑफ नाइन्थ ऑफ नवंबर इट वॉज ब्रोकन बाय द पीपल इट सेल्फ इन नवंबर नाइन्थ दिस मार्क द यूनिफिकेशन ऑफ टू पार्ट ऑफ जर्मनी एंड नाउ इट्स यूनाइटेड जर्मनी नाउ दैट आफ्टर दैट देर वॉज टू यूनिफिकेशन देर वॉज यूनिफिकेशन ऑफ ईस्ट जर्मनी एंड वेस्ट जर्मनी नाउ इट्स कॉल्ड कंबाइन जर्मनी और यूनाइटेड जर्मनी Now, the what happened? This is the this is the height of height of end of the Cold War. The Cold War Germany divided after Second World War was unified. I told you just now that Germany was unified after the Second World War in the during the Cold War. One after another, the eight eight, eight East European countries that were part of the Soviet bloc replaced their communist government in response to the mass demonstration. Now you know, slow and steadily, USSR. Once upon a time, it was one of the powerful nation, powerful part of the Eastern Bloc, and you know, the whole world was divided into Eastern part and Western part. And now that that's why that time the bipolar system was there. Now it is now unipolar. USSR was gone. Soviet Union was gone. Now divided, slow and steadily, fifteen new republic nations were born from the Soviet Union, and you know Moscow. Now you said Moscow, and Vladimir Putin. Moscow is one of the major parties there. So Moscow itself is a country. Uh, sorry, uh, Russia. I'm sorry. Russia is uh, uh, earlier. Moscow was there. Moscow was the uh, capital of Soviet Union, and now it's a Russian. Russian Russia is only one. Russia the country. The Soviet Union stood by as the Cold War began to an end, not by military means, but a result of mass actions by ordinary men. Why Soviet Union was divided? You know, Soviet Union was divided because it was lagging behind an economic economy, and the people wants that you know we uh, they should they should march. Side by side as the western part of the country, but they were not able to do it. 
so the soviet union itself disintegrated after that disintegrated matlab kisi cheez ka tootna integrated jurna disintegrated tootna so in this chapter we will discuss the meaning the causes consequences of disintegration of soviet soviet word we also discuss what happened to the part of the world after the collapse of communist regime hum kya discuss karenge iske andar sabse pehle causes what were the causes of disintegration then consequences consequences of not only soviet union consequences of throughout the world what happened then then what happened to the part of the world after communism then and how india uh, how india relates to these kind because you know soviet union was uh, very much close to uh, india soviet union was very much close to india then what happened is is there any is there any consequences was there any consequences on india also kya bharat ke upar bhi iska bhi asar pada hai was there any consequences on india also that after that this what happened and whatever happened in uh, during uh, our disintegration due, uh, after the disintegration of soviet now so iska matlab hum kya padhenge is chapter mein sabse pehle padhenge ki sab ki what do you mean by bipolar system end of bipolar system matlab soviet union khatam ho gaya unipolar system aa gaya now what do you mean by unipolar system now america is only one part powerful nation and uh, and the world power you can say world power i'm not saying that russia is not a world power russia is also a world power quite strong enough but not strong enough like soviet union next after what is the end of the cold war no cold war started after the second world war end of the second world war after the means end of the second world war cold war started and when the cold war uh, was end uh, after the after the disintegration of soviet union so after the disintegration of soviet union we will discuss why soviet union was disintegrated what were the causes of disintegration of soviet union number 1 number 2 what were the causes first and what were the consequences of disintegration of soviet union causes as well as consequences okay now these two parts are gone number 3 part part number 3 point number 3 we will also study that what happened what was the consequences on india what were the consequences of india what were the consequences of india uh, after the dis disintegration of soviet union now first of all we have to look that what was the system of soviet union system kya tha soviet union ka you know western part ka soviet system tha capitalism capitalism was the system economy do you know when when your economy is strong it means you are strong when your economy is weak you are also weak very simple it can it can be for the nation also and it can be a from the you know uh, unique one that is your home nuclear one new new one very small one this very small part your home your home is also depending on the you know economy part and you are the whole nation is also depend on the economy if your economy is strong you are strong economy is weak you are weak now let us discuss before discussing discussion i want to give us some introduction about leader of the soviet union side by side we will also study about the leaders of the soviet union first vladimir lenin lenin the leader of communist party founder of bolshevik communist party here what do you mean bolshevik bolshevik means farmers farmers founder of bolshevik communist party leader of russian revolution you know lenin used to be called the god of communism as you said na god of cricket is sanchin tendulkar say god of communism is vladimir lenin very strong personality very stiff personality right communist party and leader of the communist party 
Russian Revolution, and he was a leader in Russian Revolution also from 1917 onwards. 1917 में Russian Revolution हुआ था आपने पढ़ा है. Ninth or tenth के अंदर Russian Revolution उस में भी you know Vladimir Lenin के बाद में we have already read. And the founder head of USSR during the most difficult period following the revolution of 1907 to 1922. He held a very responsibility, he was in responsible position during 1917 to 1922, 24, an outstanding theoretician and practitioner of Marxism, Karl Marx. He was a he was a he was a follower of Karl Marx, Marxism. Right, and, and a source of inspiration for all communists throughout the world. So, you write down this small introductory paragraph of Lenin, Vladimir Lenin. Okay. The Union of Soviet Union, Social Republic, came into being after the Social Revolution in Russia, 1971. Soviet Union, kab, you know, apne powerful, powerful they, they came into power after 1917 when there was a revolution in Russia. Right, Vladimir Lenin was there. They were, the revolution was inspired by the ideals of socialism and opposition of capitalism. Let me tell you one thing socialism is the idea of that in every, in the, in the society. Everyone is equal. Everyone is equal. Society should be equal, equal for everyone. Socialism. And they were against the capitalism. Capitalism ke against the socialism. Ke right. This was perhaps the biggest attempt in human history to abolish the institution of private property and consci consciously design a society based on principles of equality. Now, communism, one by one, I'm discussing you. Be careful. Listen to me, whosoever, whosoever sitting, listening to me. Please do listen to me that communism is based on equality. Communism means, means based on community. Communities should be based on socialism. Socialism, is mean, socialism, socialism means equality. They are against any type of capitalism. Number one. Number two, and it is, this is attempt in, first attempt in human history to abolish capitalism through, uh, in the society. Abolish capitalism in the society. Let socialism come into the society. But then in doing so, the market for social system gave primary to the state and the institution of the party. The Soviet political system centered around the Communist Party and no other political party opposition was allowed. Look now, as you go to China, still now, only Communist Party is there. People could be different. People can fight election. Different people can fight election for one, for one post. But there's a the one single party system in China. That is party system is communist party system, communist party. Same in USSR, same in Soviet system. Only communist party was allowed to survive. No other party was there to survive. Not allowed to survive rather. After the second world war, the East European countries, after the second world war here, After the Second World War, the East European countries that Soviet army had liberated from the fascist force came under the control of USSR. Second World War ke baad, East European countries, ke kut countries, jo te, they used, they came under the USSR hold, hold of USSR. The political and economic system, all of these countries were modeled after the USSR. And whatever the political system, whatever the society, so, social system, whatever the economic system, they were under the control of USSR, model of USSR. 
they were following they don't have any individual model of that country many countries were there all were eastern european countries and all countries were following ussr this group of countries was called second world or socialist bloc ye jo group tha na jo ussr ke under tha that group was under the ussr that was called as socialist bloc two blocks were there socialist bloc or communist bloc or capitalist bloc capitalist bloc capitalist bloc was under the influence of usa united states of america and communist bloc that is communist bloc or socialist bloc was under the influence of ussr you know as united states they had lot of uh, military pact that nato cto cento and soviet bloc or communist bloc or soviet socialist bloc they had one military pact and that is called warsaw pact the warsaw pact a military alliance held them together warsaw pact is a military alliance and that held them together the ussr was the leader of the bloc ussr was the leader of the bloc so what we had read in two paragraph soviet system right lenin right soviet bloc right or communist bloc right they are principles what type of principle what type of the dance they follow right and the division of the world part soviet bloc right and they and military alliance one whatsapp pact was there that held soviet bloc together under the military alliance clear now next point the soviet union became a great part after the second world war every sentence is very important every sentence is very effective every sentence is very influential so don't be here and there if you are the soviet union became a great part after the second world war the soviet economy was more developed than the rest of the world except for the us and that one one was soviet they were very powerful and economy was also very growing economically also soviet bloc was growing the soviet economy was then more developed than the rest of the world except for the us it had complex communication very good communication system complex communication network vast energy resources including oil iron steel machinery machinery production and transport sector that connected its remotest areas with efficiency in every aspect maybe transport maybe machinery maybe industry maybe economy maybe oil maybe in uh, infrastructure maybe production everywhere the they were improving they were developing right and our transport sector was very improved one remotest area they connected with each other it had a domestic consumer industry that produced everything from pins to cars domestic industry may they don't depend they had a one very good principle when the soviet bloc was started they have said that every production will be indigenous matlab ghar mein production hoga we should not depend on the import of from other countries from pin to the car they had a production in their own country though their quality did not match that of western capitalism quality was not so good because slowly and steadily they are they were gaining the production so quality they were improving 
but not it was not so good as if we compare to the capitalist one the soviet state ensured a minimum standard of living for all citizens very very important very important the soviet state ensured a minimum standard of living for all citizens what do you have minimum standard of living first of all roti kapra and makan your food your shelter your clothes these are the three things required for a person main person main three things after that your other second there that then that the secondary issue first these three should be there your roti your kapra and your makan and they ensured that these basic things should be given to the to the citizen of soviet union of all citizens and the government subsidized basic necessity including subsidizing was also there health care was subsidized medicine was subsidized education was subsidized child care was subsidized welfare scheme was subsidized life insurance was subsidized they like, like russia was sorry ussr was doing everything for the society everything for the society if a person is having cycle everyone is having cycle in that particular category no one having the car they think that if one is one is he can purchase a car then why not other can purchase the car if one is purchasing cycle then it means that everyone should purchase the cycle because their salary is equal right so this there was no unemployment reminded underline the sentence there were no unemployment no unemployment was there state ownership was dominant from all ownership land and productive asset for owned by controlled by the soviet state you know soviet union mein collectivization hota tha collectivization what do you mean collectivization farming you don't have your private property at all you don't have everyone if a clerk is living in two room house every clerk is living uh, uh, you know living in two room house they were flat system flat system came from soviet union itself flat system everyone was getting flat according to their status your your land you don't have land your own land your own private property no everything was given from from bread to butter from education from medicine from everything was subsidized and given by the state right that's why the economy was booming production was enlarged people were happy during that time the soviet union however became very bureaucratic and authoritarian yeah when the something everything can be positive you know everything can be positive positive soviet system however became very bureaucratic very strict and authoritarian making life very difficult for its citizens you know if a if a pigeon if we, if we a if we held a sparrow or parrot you put a cage and give all all the facilities your bread your you know food your water everything is there but it is in cage pakshi the pinjare mein hai to pinjare mein aata hai aap usko kitna bhi kuch le rahe ho but it it cannot fly it's not independent it's not free the sky is not the sky is not belong to belong to that particular you know sparrow pigeon whatever it is you held captive in a, in in a cage bas samajh mein aa rahi hai aapko theek is it the same condition same condition with the people of soviet union soviet union after some time because they don't have the have the right to express expression was not there right to expression was not there lack of democracy was there democracy was not there at all 
no democracy at all. Right was not there. Yeah, you are, you cannot express about the government. Government was very authoritarian. Now negative start, negative part start. Earlier we had a positive that society was equal for everyone. Society was taking government was taking care of the society. Government was taking care of their need, their medicine, their their schooling, their education, their food, their employment, and um, uh, production was good. Indigenous production was there from car to pin or pin to car, whatever it is, vice versa. So they were having the production in their own country. Everything was very, very goody goody. But the main thing, your freedom, freedom was neglecting. So here I stop. Here I stop. Here I stop. And uh, tomorrow I will discuss with you about the about the system of Soviet Union and why Soviet Union was disintegrated. The first thing that they don't have any democratic rights. This way, that is the answer. They were they were not taking interest in Soviet 